Now, sitting in the office of the number one ladies' detective agency, with her assistant, Mama Kutsi, the most distinguished graduate of her year at the Botswana Secretarial College, she reflected on the decisions which her impending marriage to Mr. J.L.B. Matukoni would oblige her to take. The most immediate issue, of course, had been where they might live. That had been decided rather quickly. Mr. J.L.B. Matukoni's house, near the old Botswana Defence Club, attractive though it undoubtedly was, with its old colonial veranda and its shiny tin roof, was not as suitable as her own house in Zebra Drive. His garden was sparse, little more than a swept yard, in fact. Whereas she had a good collection of pawpaw trees, some very shady acacias, and a well-established melon patch. Moreover, when it came to the interiors, there was little to recommend Mr. J.L.B. Matukoni's Spartan corridors and unlived-in rooms, especially when compared with the layout of her own house. It would be a great wrench, she felt, to abandon her living room with its comfortable rug on the red-polished concrete floor, her mantelpiece with her commemorative plate of Sir Etsekama, paramount chief, statesman and first president of Botswana. And, in the corner, her treadle sewing machine that still worked so well, even in a power cut, when more modern sewing machines would fall silent.